Hello and welcome to another CCMS training video. Today we're going to take a look at starting up a project in Sonar 8.5 Producer. This project's going to be, we want to make it as simple as possible and get right into composing in the software. So what I've done is opened up a instance of Sonar, and I, but I've opened it up blank so we don't have a lot of confusing stuff going on in the window. We have our dashboard here and we have our track view here and this is track view. So what I'm going to do is I uh, to get quickly moving on a project, I'm going to go ahead and uh, install or insert a virtual synth, uh, studio technology synth synthesizer, a general MIDI module. In this case, it's going to be my Cakewalk one, the one that comes with the program. So uh, what I want to do first is go up to Insert and pull Insert down. About halfway down, you'll see Soft Synths. And then a couple down in my plug-in list, I have the Cakewalk TTS-1, that's my general MIDI module. So I'm going to select it. And a nice feature in 8.5 is that it allows you just to insert it as a simple instrument track, which means it combines the MIDI input and the audio output in one track. And uh, it's, a, it's a simple way to go ahead and insert it. So I'll click OK. You see it is loading it up. And it's given me my my module and if I pull this aside move it down out of the way for a minute it's given me my track so we'll pull this down so we can see all the parameters of the in the dashboard and uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is to take this pull this down and I'm going to assign uh, one of my controllers to it so I have MIDI input and that's what that stands for in that window that's your input window don't worry about this window right now because that's basically disabled unless we were to use it for something else. And it already defaults to my uh, outputs. Now, if I look back at my module, I'll see that I have a lot of options here for uh, 16 different tracks of audio of instruments and uh, of which the track number 10 or channel number 10 is, is defaulted to a drum set. So I'll just go back here to channel one the cool thing about this module gives you a chance to audition the sound. And I'll go ahead and try the drum kit too. Great. So we're just going to go ahead and start right off with just uh, a simple piano sound. Uh, so right now, uh, as I look back to here, I'll see that my piano sound is set up on channel 1. And uh, so I'll go over to here and assign my input to channel one. Pull this down, click on um, Cakewalk TTS-1. See there's 16 here, matching the 16 on the module. And now if I go ahead and reach over right now to my uh, keyboard, I should be playing this module and hearing it out of the speakers. And as simple as that. It's, I now have a track here available, and the next video I'll go ahead, ahead and show how we can add more tracks. Let's just go ahead before we go, come up here, type in piano, so that we've um, indicated what the track is, so when we get multiple tracks, we'll know where they stand. 